get everything all prepared for Summer Games Fest. There we go. And we should be live. We in there. You know about we those do. guys that are out there? No, because we in there. <laughs> we in here. We out here. Made sure to get myself lunch before this. Had to fucking rush to get it. <laughs> yeah. I really should have started earlier. Oh well. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Keeley, and this is Summer Game Fest, a live showcase of what's next in the wide, wide world of video games. We are live here in Los Angeles, and whether you're streaming from home or watching inside an IMAX theater, welcome to our showcase event. Is that an option? The next few hours, we'll give you updates on the games man, you love. Do, Be joined by do they do this in IMAX? And yes, have a few surprises along the way, too. Now, what I love about this show is that it's a true cross-industry showcase. Whether you play on Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Switch, or mobile, we'll have games for you. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. We're all here to come together as one community that simply loves the art of amazing video games. The biggest franchises in the industry are here, like Call of Duty. You'll get introduced to exciting new worlds and new teams, and we'll make room for small independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight too. If we do this right, hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. And even if you don't get every announcement that you desire, let's face it, you're not going to get everything today, but we've got a lot of great stuff. So let's get started. Over 30 years ago, Capcom Street Fighter hit arcades, and ever ah, yes. since, Street this Fighter legendary Six. Japanese Immediate. fighting game series has continued to evolve. Street Fighter VI is coming in 2023, and right now, we're excited to officially confirm a character coming to the game and show you the exclusive first gameplay footage. Enjoy. By the way, Brooke, you can hear it, right? Yeah, I can hear it. Probably should have asked that. <laughs> you will know what hits you. Let me have some fun. I have to turn this down though, because I can barely hear this part. This will be a good fight. Go to my sights. I love in the so many years that Street Fighter has taken place, and that they've obviously aged the characters, right? But Guile yeah. still has a but Guile still has a table for a head. I mean, good for him. <laughs> he knows his style. I'm just on another level. My dude, I'm just saying, maybe it's time for a change. Uh, then again, that his hairstyle is his most iconic thing about him. About the comb. All right, next it's time for Not a his brand theme? new game <laughs> announcement here at Super I mean, other team. Check this out. How long is this live stream supposed to be? I have no idea. I didn't do Summer Games Fest the last time they'd had one. So I don't know. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM Left Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the ComSat relay, and bring it back online. We found the relay, but there was a problem. Get that door closed now, Private. Close that game. Nothing gets in here. Ray didn't make it. At least it's a one piece. Willis, take the lead. 
I mean, I know Call of Duty's in space now. Is that what this is? Oh, this ain't good. What we found it's possible. Was a new kind of evil. And it found us first. Because my brain wanted to jump to 40k, but like, no, because the Space Marines are big, chonky boys. Alien! Yeah, alien! Not alien? That looks like a, a fucking... A, no, it's like, yeah, no, it is alien! I didn't, I didn't say no, I was like, yeah, I... I... Oh. Mumbled a little bit. It looks like alien. <laughs> it is! Xenomorph. That's Xenomorph! saw in there. But I know when I close my eyes, I still see it. Now everyone's dead. And someone needs to know. Are the alien games typically top-down shooters? I remember that. No! I mean, Alien Isolation was a first-person game. Yeah, I know that much, because I've, I've played Isolation. In 2023 to console and PC. Next. Colonial Marines, which is shit. ...revealed the Callisto Protocol from the creative forces behind the Dead Space franchise. Today, I am thrilled to get to show you the first raw gameplay alongside its creator, Glenn Schofield. But first, here's the quote-unquote Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gore. What if I don't want gore, Jeff? Jeff, what if I don't like gore? What if, what if I'd rather just not? Just a little more gore as opposed to none, I guess? I mean, there were some in that previous trailer. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. You're getting jam all over the place! It's gonna be all sticky! I give you a chance. At rebirth. Jockey stick. every time truly I think I think it really shows a sign of just kind of being desensitized to these kind of trailers when I'm sitting here eating Burger King while watching fucking Mutilated or bodies get mutilated. <laughs> I just don't think the monster designs are that strong. They're like barely mutated people, and like if that was the point, like I guess, but like I don't know. I feel like the monster design could be like pushed further, you know? Mhm. Mm but just seeing all these bodies get mutilated, right. and I'm we just like, mm, fuck or king. Joining me now, Glenn <laughs> Schofield, striking distance. Glenn, uh, first of all. 
congratulations. This game looks absolutely incredible. And I gotta say, oh yeah, this is the game by William Crafton. This, this studio, new IP, shipping this December, <laughs> all in COVID, blows me away. So congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Man. And it was made by former Dead thanks Space people, so hopefully at least it's good. Um, I mean, it's not for me, know, for but you know. Yeah, you know, I want to thank you uh, for all you've done. Doodle isn't affected by Gore. No, I am. Years, man. I, Just not I these particular like 16, trailers. Years now, and, uh, um, these particular it's kind of your bog standard I, Gore uh, trailers, you know. New games, new studios, yeah. And, uh, it's not like Gore doesn't bother me. Gore absolutely I'm bothers me. It's just thank you. It's not about me. I've seen this time and time again. I know, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's so fun to do these shows. And I'm just kind of excited for whatever indie stuff we get this year. Is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence? Like I have no expectations for this, but I'm more focused on what indie stuff could be possibly announced. Are we see today? Yeah, we got I'm super minutes, looking uh, forward to the wholesome like games said, direct. Like I have to invite Musha in here though. Two segments in the first half of the game. Uh, I can't not invite Musha in here. Another one is a power station, and you're gonna see uh, some new enemies, some brutality, some uh, just about everything. We were showcasing a new uh, weapon called the Grip. It's a, you can tell I've been hanging out. I, I hang out with Heaton a lot because I looked at those monsters and I'm like, it's it's far enough. Right. And uh, <laughs> check out the uh, yeah, I imagine lab where we, uh, you know, usually we'll kill our main character Jacob and in a very unique way. And uh, uh, just for a second, I, I want to thank the team, man. Like you said, through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, well, Glenn, I gotta say again, you know, what you guys are showing well, being talked this looks like talked about the Callisto protocol next gen game. Uh, it's it's rare that teams are bringing something out like former this Dead this Space year, uh, employee uh, uh, speak for itself, Dev Schofield, striking distance. Yeah, the, the, is, the, first the game, game that was looked at the at the what protocol. was it State of Play uh, stream that we did that I did um, that we said was created by uh, what was it William Crafton. Cause, cause the, the company is Crafton. Fucking I mean, Sarah said William Crafton, and then we thought it was funny. <laughs> Invite Azu and Azzy? Why? <laughs> I'd invite Musha to the Wholesome Games Direct because he was like, he was the the fucking center stage as it was for the last one. <laughs> Dude, you got a barcode on your neck. You might want to get that checked out. Oh my god, it's Hitman. <laughs> Not Agent Crafton, 4 said, what happened? Crafton. Why are you in space? Yeah, you can tell this is the dead space, guys, because the UI is very much, like, integrated into the environment. Man, that recoil. <laughs> do you have to make sure you do that, or was that just someone fucking around? <laughs> Could be six and one half dozen of the other. I thought that briefly said Geico, and I was like, what? <laughs> Gross. It was green. I hope the people that like Dead Space have a good time with this game, because I know a lot of people like the first two Dead Space games. Yeah. The only two Dead Space games. EA fucking... the devs over- <laughs> oh, gross. Oh my huh? god. That just happened. Well, Alright, moving on. This October, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 arrives. Infinity Ward is once again returning to its roots for a modern day action game. And today we're about to show you the world premiere of its I gameplay hate, with a level play. I hate the naming Tell conventions. I'm like, I thought we already had a Modern Warfare 2. Check in 
with Johanna Ferris, the head of Call of Duty. Because we did. Hi, everyone. In 2019, modern warfare changed everything. And on October 28th, we usher in a new era of Call of Duty with the launch of Modern Warfare 2. We are back, we are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team. Price, Gaz, Soap, Alejandro, and of course, Ghost. We needed a stage big enough to debut Call of Duty in a whole new way, inspired by the world we're about to enter. Oil rigs, cargo ships, and staggering odds are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Vacuuming it? No, I'm, I've been eating, <laughs> admittedly. I snagged uh, Burger King before the stream started. Oh, I don't know why, but that, like, the, the gun jiggling go back and forth with the walking animation, I don't know. I don't know why that reads as cute, but it does. Like, do to do to do Truly, that is just how I play FPS games. Room clear. Coming out. Because, like... The, uh, the man, the only thing I can focus on is that fucking walking animation with with the gun, because I don't know. It's not. It's not that it's incorrect. It just feels a little soft in a way that makes it seem weirdly cute. <laughs> like it's a like it's a a jaunt through a Springfield or something. I don't know. Oh, through the tip, <laughs> too. <laughs> we're moving to the main deck. What's your status? Boarding the ship with Shadow Three now. Roger that. <laughs> Dragonite says, "I thought of a dumb name for a game because you called the gun with a cute kawaii gun." Uh <laughs> Cause like, it looks like- I'm not crazy, right? I know I'm hyper-focusing on it, but it's like someone's going through a stroll and not like they're on a mission... ...to... ...take over this oil rig. As I said, tiptoe <laughs> through the tulips. <laughs> Cause it's like... They, they accidentally put personality into how this MC... Carries their gun. Has anything of note been revealed yet? Um. Oh, whoops. I accidentally opened up another. Oh, yes. Um. No, just, uh. Just, a Street Fighter. Oh. Fucking. I mean, although I feel like it was. OBS accidentally. Fucking. Whoops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, I don't care to approve that thing. I just want to watch the stream. It would've been weird if God wasn't in Street Fighter. I don't know if there was a game where he wasn't. Other than, like, maybe the first one, because the first Street Fighter was weird. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Before 2, like, revolutionized... ...the fighting game genre forever. Eh. 
No, it is not Girly Wolf Pup. You, you guys, trust me, you would know if Gex ever appears. <laughs> if Gex appears, I will not be able to shut up about it for the rest of the stream. I think Susie would die on the spot. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Now shut him in there. On that damn ship. Actually, we got a problem. This was Kyle wasn't in Street Fighter 3? Huh. Weird. Son, yeah, he's just like, he's one of the more iconic characters. It's hard to imagine a Street Fighter game without him. We shot like five dudes, threw a grenade, and now we're good. I feel like there would be more people on oil rig. That's just me though. Watch where you're going, forehead. Let's have ourselves a gut fight. We do. Susie's streaming the uh, the summer game thing. Oh. Bunch of announcements. I'm not hungry. Mewtwo. They're just showing off Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. Call of Duty Modern Modern Warfare. Maybe you got a <laughs> I'm not- I was, I'm not saying I have to like it in, in those instances either. Remember? It's cut- it's cut- fuck you already made this game? Calling- Calling modern- uh, calling Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 feels weird. It should be Modern Modern. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare is for them. The first, the first remake should have been Modern Warfare again, and then this is okay. Modern Warfare. I don't think it's a remake. I yep. think they're just. It's except it was like three and four. It's like hearing they the. Just... It's like hearing the new titles for for New Super Mario Bros. It's like by that after like the the, the second or the no, but after the first one it should be new new Super Mario Bros. and then new 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 Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Just like this should be modern modern warfare. <laughs> and then well no this should be modern modern warfare too because the first one yeah, should well, have been yeah. modern modern warfare. Yeah 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 and then this one modern modern warfare too. And if they ever remake this game they call it modern 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 warfare. Modern warfare is quite <laughs> still <laughs> That bomb was so strong, it blew us all the way to Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. It blew us all the way to the trailer, finally. At least there was gameplay, I suppose. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Join yeah. us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna. Great to see you. I'm so just great. deep in the indie scene that you can't from, uh, Infinity War get me at all with these you modern shooters. Like, sequence looks incredible. Uh, if people <laughs> like <laughs> Call of Duty games, good for them, I guess. I'm glad that they can Absolutely. have fun with so, it, but uh, I'm just all, like, we're really excited to welcome back uh, super which modern game? warfare and, too. You know, Gaz. I updated shooters. You know, they're not. They're not actually. In what we just saw today, but uh, they're returning members from 141 and the other two characters uh, that were you may recognize from the older franchise. That were new really Modern Warfare, are, New Modern uh, Warfare Simon, 2. Ghost <laughs> Riley, and uh, of course, uh, Soap John McTavish. Um, and then a couple other new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we got to uh, create for this game. Um, first, uh, Commander Philip Gray. You don't come to Call of Duty uh, for characters, forces, my guy. I, I'm sorry, uh, but like, if I wanted uh, characters, I'd go play an RPG. Like we're really excited about. He's a guy who's super capable. Yeah, of uh, who's just as important. I'm sure I'm not saying it's not possible, um, but like, with, with something like Call of Duty, you don't necessarily come to it for the characters in the single player. Tremendous. 
collaboration across all of the, of like the different uh, Makarov, you saw what character from Call of Duty really, has uh, anyone ever cared about? Here. And, uh, you know, you There's one. Genuinely, I'm curious. And the, uh, animations <laughs> and Are you sure it's not Makarov, Justin, that you're thinking of? New water tech, which is actually pushing <laughs> Makarov is the only one that I have... Creating a Makarov is the only named character I've ever heard of from Call of Duty. Cases, you could be behind cover, and then suddenly that color would shift and leave um, you exposed. Um, creating this emergent gameplay. Um, so, uh, which was, if there was a zombie map, we played uh, the president and he's the president Obviously, you know, we're so excited that it's back this mm -hmm. year, but you got lots going on okay. Call of Duty. What can we expect? Right? Yeah. yeah. We, um, yeah. First of all, thanks for having us here. We're just so excited for our October game. I mean, I'm just saying you can't have memorable characters in first person shooters. I like Portal and Bioshock. I'm just saying when it comes to Call of Duty, these are just human ass human faces, and like there's nothing iconic about any of these people. Incredible graphics, all the things just oh. in the game itself, built all on one shared yeah. engine now. Oh. Across yeah. Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going forward. Oh. Of course, there's a lot of chatter and interest about the new Warzone experience. We're affectionately calling it Warzone 2.0. Um, there will be the baby's been very vocal of today. Of yeah. for current existing Throw the ball, Justin. Um, and again, I think throw the ball. It's been incredible. Everybody's so excited for Task Force One for One. Um, Warzone coming to mobile as well for players on the go. We're, we're on Steam, as you know. I mean, so yeah. it's just a big moment, and there's going to be a lot more oh, to come what in, else in the months announced? to follow. Uh, Guile's back in Street Fighter. There's a new yeah, a alien you game. Know, I know we just, you know, we're showing gameplay here on this, but can you tell us anything? I mean, it seems like there was a little bit of a tease. Maybe in the he game. wasn't in three, yeah, but when we're he just, they're just like, oh, hey, he's back. The fans can pick he's up some so, so far, you know. so far, this, it, it's starting, it's starting, like, it will be an extension. very slow. So, all the more reason why we top down game, shoot this moment is, okay. is such an important aliens specifically looking ahead and then we're getting a new not dead space game made by people who made dead space so we're, in, we're in position we're really excited all right i well, think they the thanks so much for giving us the first yep. gameplay call of duty modern warfare 2 thanks johanna oh, i don't uh, mind all right well, we've got lots of lbs project thing popping up and now it's time to announce they like one and two people like one and two franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its first release. I loved this game when I was growing up, so I'm honored to share this very first look. What is this? What is this new? Is it a game? What? Why should it be like Hubert? 30 years later, so it's not Gats. Oh! No, it's, uh, fuck. I don't remember the name of this game. I know about it, though. Hitfall? <laughs> No, uh... What is this? It'll eventually say something. It's... I remember because they tried to make like an HD version of it and it did not go over well up like five, ten years ago. So I recognize the style. Flashback, Flashback, yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever heard of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you like? Mm -hmm. All right, let's turn back time. Back yeah, in 2017, okay. we announced which what would you like? Awards. Almost five years later, I am so excited that the team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark fantasy first-person shooter, which will enter early access soon. I am so excited to play this. Yeah, don't, don't mind me. I'm just casually this. adding Musha's uh, small in the middle of stream just in case he decides to join. <laughs> dark fantasy with a gun. I mean, I can... I can, depending on how this goes, I could potentially get behind this. It's we weird like, hearing Justin we like... from Brooks. <laughs> Someone in my chat saying it's weird hearing Justin from Brooks' avatar, and I'm just like, ah, so you knew here. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is very common, actually. Yeah. 
This is this dark fantasy first person shooter with a gun and magic. It looks very pretty. Tiny Tino is Wonderland too. Mirror. Say hi to the people. Can you do that? Witch fire. It's a cool name for a video game. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Okay, next up comes an ambitious new game from a new independent studio in Europe starring some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. I'm down for indies. Officer Taylor Medlog, 29. Today, um, I can't believe what I saw. I scored a draw. What? I'll claim it. I don't know what that is. What the fuck is drops? Everything okay in there? What the fuck is it? What drop did I get? Weird. What is this? I don't know. They say I, I was too busy no. adding Musha to the to the roster. <laughs> this is an indie. Is this the people that made Observer? I don't know. Something's going on here. Or Observation. Observer is different. Wait, no. Era? For Solace. Okay. Robert Clock, Julia Brown, Troy Baker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought I heard. I knew I heard school. somebody familiar. That's I was like, is it Matt Murthers and Jonas uh, Scott? Troy and Roger in person. Guys, uh, this is so fun. The fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool team. Oh, so they're making this the and starring in it. Okay. I guess. Uh, who are your characters? I mean, it is an independent project. Well, uh, I mean, someone's got to do it, huh? Do whatever he wants. Stationed at this, uh, <laughs> Sports Solace. And, uh, as long as he doesn't uh, attempt any more NFT shit. Cover as we go through the game, and of course, except, my except will be at times in opposition with yep. Roger's character. The battle we've been waiting to see. Everybody <laughs> wants to, yeah, yeah. Oh man, we can't wait to show you. What we're working on. By the way, Roger Jeff, Clark. I probably have seen so something that he's be been in, but I don't recognize his name. It's so great that you're in another game. We, I mean, it's feel like this is your first game since it's Red Dead. 2. One of the first major ones for a while. Oh, Red Dead. Okay, Red Dead. <laughs> there you go. There's awesome. your answer. His first, yeah. His first. His job is to make sure that none of the equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard shift. The graveyard shift meaning Mars and Earth are really far apart from each other and their orbits around the sun. So help. Now I just need that clip from Red Dead 2 that's just like, ah, I am a fucking genius. Well, I am a fucking genius. That's making this, but with huge production values. I'm curious, like... How did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I, I will say that 2020 to me was the most impactful year of games. It was the first, yes. I mean, obviously we had this unprecedented event with the really? pandemic and that forced oh, the way that we, everything as a society, but also the way this yeah, was it But it was also brand new consoles. We had more tools that were being made available that were leveling the playing field between like the AAA studios and the indie studios and the AAA studios. I don't and want so, indie so games like that look like AAA studio shit. I want sale, video games that look Cute like and colorful and pretty. Being a part of this game, and he walked me through a very brief description of what the experience was going to be. Or look visually distinct. At the very beginning, he said, "It's we want this to feel. It's a it's a tight thriller. We want it to feel like Dead Space meets uh, Duncan Jones Moon." And I was like, "Sign me up." I'm into that, absolutely. And full, like, performance capture and everything. Ah, yeah. Absolutely. New studio, brand new energy, and of course, I get to work with one of the best of the business. And me. I think we may need to change the filter out in the fridge soon. Watch him in action. Yeah. I, you know, I love to work, and I love 
the challenges and all the new innovations that this medium provides to performers. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Yeah. I think it's going to knock Yeah, I guess I've up. seen some of the behind the scenes and the performance capture on Real Engine 5. I mean, this is it looks absolutely phenomenal. Can you give us a hint about the, the gameplay? Like, what are we going to do in this game? Yeah, the verbs are always important. So we're going to let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on. But uh, this is a game where you as the player, you're going to be exploring. I like how just they're, they're like we said, it's a revealing these games. Thriller. So like, you're moving very fast. And, and, and like, they're, they're showing off all these trailers and stuff like that. My chat's just talking diverse, about. We're excited to show you the about. fucking uh, and then PlayStation the, the trio. Is a huge element to this. The, they, they didn't waste uh, any, any... Oh, Sly Ratchet and Jack? The performance for yeah, Sly Ratchet okay, so and Jack. Story, yeah, can, <laughs> the PlayStation uh, trio. You know what? Um, I can't see your chat right now, but I just want to tell you, chat, that, that you all have good taste, and I appreciate you very much. To speak to the performance capture aspect, we brought in an incredible, I gotta give him a shout out, uh, to Nathaniel, our stunt coordinator. So, like, I've had the weird, I was hit by the weirdest craving to just play both Psychonauts games again, and also the Slide Trilogy again. And so, Roger and I sat down and said, Oh, the Slide Trilogy is so good. And then they gave us such a mediocre game. And after an hour, he With a terrible story. Recovery program, it was 12 steps. I incredible that I still need to I, actually I, play all of it for myself. I am like, missing one clue bottle still in Tennessee's level, I, I and then I can move on with the story. Says, but oh, you can, you will. It's a it's a it's a mediocre <laughs> installment dance, with a terrible a story. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm fixing it. Don't worry, Susie Doodle Pounds. Teaming up with you guys, we can't wait to see more. Troy, Roger, thanks for joining us here. Happy to be here. Slide four never uh, happened. Fair enough. Well, I'm okay with that. The space theme, oh, it's there's Musha. The world premiere, a very uh, exciting new game, which will feature a musical score by industry legend Gordon. Um, this so the things you that you've missed, so uh, missed uh, uh, Giles coming to Street Fighter Six. Um, an alien game. Yeah. Uh, Call of Duty. Game. Okay. And then they show. They just got through showing off a game. Which is like Troy Baker, was it? Okay. So yeah, Troy Baker was a part of, and then also a uh, a, a new not Dead Space game. Oh, Basically, fair just a enough. bunch of just a bunch of horrors and shooters. Not. I think I know the not Dead Space game you're talking about. Yeah, the um, Calypso. The Calypso project. Thing. Oh, yeah. Right. That probably wasn't the one I was thinking of, but I get ya. There were actual people that like devs from that on uh, oh, okay. on that project. So I hope they I hope oh, it's good be... for the people that like that space. Oh in that case maybe it was what I was thinking of. Okay. Is that a photo it looks like a photocopier. Let Can we get? Slides. I'm tired of realistic shit. Just give me something with style, please. Yeah, I do kind of get. I, I, I'm kind of burned out on realism too. I don't know if anyone else feels that fully. <laughs> realism is fine, but I get kind of tired of seeing it all the time. I so want to Photoshop that R into a P and then make a food-themed version. <laughs> oh, I think I've heard of Raw Fury. Doesn't that look I did great? like the that face of that one robot, though. Yeah. It was very one Candy Valley. A decade ago, and is now officially back. I can't wait to see more. Now it's time to check in with a very special guest who's been in his fair share of video games, including most recently Fortnite as the foundation. Wayne Johnson, welcome to Summer Game Fest. How are you? What's up, everybody? And what's up? Oh my word! Why is the rock here? They're showing Johnsons on screen. <laughs> Think of the children. The world, <laughs> my guy. Did he just like? Built, from, was he running out of time? Ice, and so he was just like, "Fuck it! I I've already done my workout, or I'm doing this before my workout, and I'm just gonna film this with my shirt off." I mean, I, it's it smacks heavily of, they, of him doing a favor to them. Like, I'm calling it now, he's gonna cap it off with, what can I say except you're welcome. He'll fucking do the, fu he'll do the, like, rock look, like the specific one that's, like, everywhere. <laughs> I mean, he he, re he recreated that there into the photo of him in the jumper. Yeah, there, there it is. He just, <laughs> just did it. Like, I... You guys also know he knows. The greatest 
and most this man has aged gaming that so gracefully Hmm. It yeah, looks like actually. he's been frozen in time for the last so twenty years. Like, if, like if, if he, when he ever, whenever he get, does guest hosts to recent WrestleMania, he he does it surprisingly well. It still holds up. Wait, was it? To show you what we have in store for the future. And speaking of the wasn't future, The Rock the planning future, on doing like a a movie, uh, like Black based Adam off of a video game? You know, the world he like made Black a tweet Adam talking about how it was something from his from his childhood or something like that. I don't remember. He was he was in Rampage. That was in, that was. In, but there was a different <laughs> one, and okay. everyone started cracking jokes. But I don't remember exactly what those jokes were because the meme of uh, the life of that meme was like incredibly short. So you do the math. Uh, October 21st. I cannot wait for you guys to see Black Adam around the world in theaters. Oh, I was just thinking of Black Adam. Will finally see the hierarchy of power in the DC universe change. Uh, it has been an honor to become Black Adam. And it was a it is a role that's in my DNA and that I was born to play. I was born to play the man in black. And I'm honored. Dwayne, the, Dwayne Mr. Rock Johnson, so then, uh, this room is echoey uh, as shit. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay focused, keep having fun, keep kicking ass, uh, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you down the road. This is Black Adam. Black Adam. So we're just gonna see this, I guess, movie now? Movie trailer at a game show? There's <laughs> Black Adam is his damn nemesis, yeah? Am I remembering that correctly? I don't know DC as well as Marvel. I, I don't know either very well. <laughs> I just hope that once he meets Shazam, it'll at least be halfway decent, because I enjoyed Shazam. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. That's up to you. Behind you! Did you just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. It wasn't a video game. No, it was not. <laughs> just Dwayne the, the Rock Johnson that, that casually that. appears. At, Dwayne the Rock Johnson appears at this fucking uh, video game show, says barely anything, and then just shows us a movie. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Video game! Scared us. us out from behind, everyone. I made it. I jump scared you all, you fools. I mean, this trailer at least isn't edited poorly, but like, I have. It's not really selling me on the video game very well. What did they Maybe say I this just. Was? They showed up and they showed a name before, I don't remember. Is this a fucking MOBA? I don't, I don't think so. It looks like another, like. Like another, like, shooter you can, you can stop using a bajillion similes that means the same thing. Or a word. Bloody outriders for crying out loud. Nobody's asking for that. <laughs> As seen by me, who is not asking for this. <laughs> Maybe God. I'm just, like, so... Oh, something Nintendo. for Switch, thank god. Ah, uh, Nintendo. Yo, what's Baka got too? Yeah. Alright, Monster Hunter. Q feed. Oh, the very Darkstalker's heavy fighting collection, yeah. Yo, it's yo, it's time for the only love Darkstalkers is gonna get this year. <laughs> Is that Jimmy Cox? <laughs> oh, I don't get it. Oh, guys! 
Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe Fall Guys is still a video game. I mean, apparently it's gotten better over the year. Uh, well, over the... It's been like a year or two now, hasn't it? I just I can say so years bad now, right? They worked, they worked so hard, and then, um, and then Among Us, which came out two years ago, just fucking exploded. It also, it also didn't help that Season 2 kinda sucked. Frankly, yeah. Season two was really bad, but apparently it's gotten better. So, like, I mean, maybe one of these days I'll just need to sit down and replay it. <laughs> oh, Lights, I... camera, action! Another dang infraction! <laughs> oh, being factor whacker wreck of YouTuber reaction. Apparently, eh. Yeah, Stupinium's Stupinium's Fall Guys song was really fucking big. I found that really funny. Out of all of the songs that he's done, all of the really, so really good shit he's done, it's the fucking Fall, Fall Guy song that made it big. <laughs> I mean, really says a lot about our society. But, like, yeah, that one was good. It's great, and I listen to it all the time, but, like, the one that, like, really jumped out, like, way afterwards was his one based off of Outer World. Because the part of the audio was circulating on TikTok. And that's how I came across him to begin with. And that one Frost was great. Man. Oh, Boy, okay. it's been, a been a while since I've heard the, n the, the name Frost Giant Studios. The fine print's a great, great song, even if you don't like Outer Worlds. Highly recommended. Finally, a game that takes place in the fictional setting of Antarctica. Signals breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Why do you have Wheelie from Portal? <laughs> Did you find him? Yeah, you know, it kinda is though. What could this be? Command, I may be on to something. The problem is, the character design actually has a style, so it can't be something like Assassin's Creed. No, it's definitely not you, Assassin's this Creed, is part of a hologram, I don't... Maybe I'm just dumb, but... I have it, Command. Repeat, I have it. Mission accomplished. What is it? Damn! Oh. Don't tell me- no. Why should this game be called Aegis or something? <laughs> that would be how it works, huh? Hang tight, Doctor. <clears throat> I've got this. At least this is a little bit more stylized than the other stuff we've been seeing. A little what bit. It still- still dwells in that, like, realism category, though. Yeah. As realistic as I could get. This, what, what is this Diablo Titanfall hybrid? I don't know. What 40k nonsense is this? Glad you could make it. We gotta move. Now. There's a storm coming. Stormgate. Storm I don't know what that is, but... You didn't show me any gameplay, I don't... I can't... I'm not... I... Homies. You're selling a video game here, not a movie ticket. It's kind of a red flag that, like, when I do a search for the name Stormgate, uh, so uh, the first thing that comes up is the Elden Ring wiki. Franchise. Oh, Musha, you missed it yesterday. Uh, we did the fucking OTK, uh, Games Expo. And they fucking tried to- they, they uh, they announced, like,
a, a, a uh, game called and Project just Honor, some of some I mean, you know, and it just Blizzard kept and getting and worse. Uh, you know, tell us about the sides in this game. <laughs> It, yeah, we're unveiling it's, our first it's a game that's today. it's a game that has uh, zero like ideas behind it. It's just got concept art. They don't even have a producer or an and HR department. The and then we looked into it and found out Blizzard that most of the team that's making this Project Honor game are ex Blizzard employees. I don't know how you managed to turn me away from a game. Game yeah, that hard, go, but if, wow, if the the those guys managed to do it. Any sense of what you want to <laughs> well, I'm gonna say is OTK Games Absolutely. Expo is appropriate because they OTK'd my frontal lobe. Very consciously trying to stay true fucking to what wild. Already love about Talking about Notorious? Yeah, Notorious is the studio, yeah, turns out. I went really in to look, to look a little bit more into it. Notorious is the studio. Uh, the game is Project uh, Honor. Play, uh, but no pay to win, no NFTs, nothing like that. So very appropriate. Just, Lower that barrier. No down. NFTs? Oh my god, a We're selling also point. Really to be a lot Bio, let's oh, go! Oh my god, the bare fucking minimum! We've got three player open ended co op. Um, and we've Finally, the basic standard has been achieved. Competitive multiplayer, but of course, we've also still got 1v1 competitive. And as a little surprise, I think we've got some first kind of work in progress images uh, from the game, right? Yeah, these are still very much still uh, being worked on, but some shots of uh, actual assets that we're building in Unreal Engine 5. Wow, well, I, I, I love it. Now, 2023, you said for the beta, so people can sign up now, get ready, and I'm just Oh, so the Diablo comparison continues. It reminds me a bit of Helldivers, actually. Coming from you guys that was all, that game was all right. Know, Blizzard and StarCraft, we're so excited about this team, Frost Giant. Uh, thank you so much for giving us your announcement today on Summer Game Fest. <laughs> thank you so much for having us here. Really great. Awesome. All right, Frost Giant, Stormgate, keep an eye out for it. Now it's time for another indie game announcement that I'm excited to share with you. High Water. Check this one out. Good morning, high water dwellers. High water pirate radio is taking you in the <gasps> An art of style! Alpha Vol authorities <laughs> continue to deny false rumors. I can't believe it. Elites are planning to it only took us like an hour. True or not, the one thing we can't deny is that the world is on an hour. a sunny day. Also, I'm kind of in agreement with Girly Wolf Pup. So far, the Street Fighter 6 reveal is the best part of the show, and that was already leaked days ago. <laughs> Damn, so true. It's unfortunate. Mm. Maybe, maybe it'll Finally, up, something you know? with style. Crying. This video, this video game water looks so cool. I wish it could be my dad. <laughs> Another thing about Notorious, yep. they're ex-Blizzard employees. I know, I said that. I told Musha about that. Mm. I mentioned that. Self-cating? Stylization? It's almost like... It's Rook almost like not every game needs to have style. the same realistic art style. Rook is I'm crying. You're crying at the art style. I mean, look, if I had to sit through like 30 trailers of generic ass real life people for the 30th time, I'd be crying too. By extreme climate change. <laughs> now, speaking of the world around us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind, and it's impacted the development of games, including Replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say we're thinking of you and all the developers impacted by the conflict and hope to be able to share your work at a future show. Yeah, I hope that right. next game is an official selection yeah. of the Tribeca Games mm. Festival. It's American Arcadia, where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised, with the viewing population constantly voting you up or Why down. Why does the main character look like Mr. Pandium? You need to start running for this the has to be <laughs> Main character yeah. out here looking like the stupendium. Let's go. <laughs> Can't believe it. Picture Nothing City, Fury. where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream to build the city of tomorrow. That dream is now a reality, and that city is Arcadia. 
Ah, I see. If Walt Disney was successful in making Epcot, every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. I just Dude, saw the that's... statue. That was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> on every digital platform, American Arcadia. Control. Subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. What? You mean to tell me this super cool futuristic city has some dark undertones? Holy shit, no way! Never would have guessed. I cannot be the only one thinking of the Truman Show. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? No, well... I didn't Don't think about it until you said it, but yeah. It's about I'll get right, back isn't to you. it? I'll get back to you when I watch I'm the Truman Show. There. It's really good. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I might look into this. Apparently we've made it to the beach. Next up is a sequel we've all been anticipating for a long time. There's trouble in paradise, and watch out. You don't want to get big uh -huh. after many years of rumors. We finally get an update on this much-anticipated sequel. What is that now? Oh my god, Sarah. Coffee stain. Oh, so it's probably Outer Worlds? Oh. Well, I think I know them for, um... Why is it that no, Deepwater Galactic is the first thing that comes to mind? It's not Outer Worlds. What's... What else? What else did Coffee Stain do? Goat Simulator? Oh, probably. That might be wrong. Fortnite, dude! Don't you dare, Frog Daisy! Go, yeah, this goat simulation. Oh my god, it is goat sim. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Yo, no look at him just way. Way. goat sim. No, <laughs> he's got a rocket launcher. Let's go. Dude, that dude's just a law-abiding goat. <laughs> I love him. Oh my god, no, is it the shit cheap? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wait, is it Goat Simulator 2? No, I don't, I don't think there is, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh this god, Goat Simulator, got, Goat Simulator got so much better when it was more than just a physics, a buggy physics sandbox. When they started taking the piss out of other games, that was actually really funny. I was expecting. You see, I saw this game. I was thinking of Deer Simulator, your average everyday deer game, instead of Goat Simulator. Natural ones like Blade and Ghost Rider for a battle against Lilith, the mother of demons. Today, damn, dude, me too. Folks, set to join the battle. Sorry, the, the sudden Metallica made me giggle. Fair enough. They they really they truly are using their Disney money well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God! So, is that Black Spider Man? So far, so FMV. All right, just show me a quick time event anytime now. <laughs> Any minute now. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be honest, it's really weird this game's recreating me and my mother's family get togethers. <laughs> Right down to the gay couple. Especially down to the gay couple. Yeah. <laughs> it's freaking uncanny, dude. That's the great thing about Let There Be Carnage. You you come for the action and then stay for the for the romance between yeah. you and it, it's honestly a really nice rom com. I don't know why people were upset when they were advertising it like wood. Yeah.
She enters through the Firaxis logo. <laughs> oh no, that orchestra does not work great. I, is oh, this, I, can't tell, I can't tell if this is like trailerized music or if this is actually a version from s and I don't know. Probably isn't. Oh my god. He's got a jacket now. So, oh, it is from Paraxis. What a weird coincidence. It is It is from Paraxis. Damn. Well, fair enough. I guess the XCOM comparison makes sense. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. Fuck, even in 2099, nothing works. That was Midnight Sun, and now we're moving on to the wonderful world of Cuphead, the delicious last course. And you, can you believe Holy it? Holy shit, this video game actually exists. From playing the delicious last course DLC. You see how they did that for Cuphead? Joining me now is Maya Maldenhauer from Studio MDHR. So first of all, Maya, it's really coming? It's really coming June 30th on all major platforms. We are thrilled. Well, I'm so thrilled, too, that uh, I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been... Lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week, and you guys gave me a copy. This, I, I can't. People are not going to be ready for how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like I did not want to know how amazing your deck looks until you show picks. We would expect, but the visual look, you guys have taken it even to the next level, which I didn't think was possible. I don't think that I don't think the "it's really coming" quote helps. Because we really honed our craft, took everything to the next level from animation, the backgrounds, the music, gameplay design. Um, and of course, our new playable character, Miss Chalice. I'm very proud of her. Chalice is fun to play as, and, and even though this is a DLC, it feels like it's its own game inside of Cuphead in many ways. It is. It is definitely. Yeah, yeah you just get get on the island, and, and there you are, off to this new uh, n new territory, which is amazing. yeah, it's our biggest island yet. Super sized bosses, lots of secrets to discover. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. Yes, and lots of challenge ahead. Well, I know you brought. I, I know you want. You don't want people to necessarily have, to have too much spoiled about the game, but you brought a little something. People a little play, something, right? yeah. It's a uh, brand new gameplay footage of one of our new bosses, Mortimer Freeze. It takes place in an icy. Oh my God, the Mortimer um, Mortimer Freeze. Some of my personal favorite um, attacks and transformations. We hope everyone enjoys it. All right, let's check it out. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Thanks, Maya. Oh, okay, I'm gone. Damn, he sure is. Pink objects! Ah, <laughs> cool, I see what you did there. <laughs> Damn, this guy's just going off. Yeah, now they parry the pink object. Hey! Really cutting it close. Well, it looks cool. I know, I know it's part of the cause to say it looks cool, but now it does. If you want even more Cuphead, and who doesn't, tomorrow we will show you an exclusive look at Season 2 of The Cuphead Show when I co-host Netflix's <laughs> Geek Week. Which will include new More like season one, part two, given the way things worked out, apparently. <laughs> Though I did enjoy the Cuphead show. There's more summer I haven't mean, have been to watch it. It's pretty good. Indie showcase with I am eight bit and double fine, then devolvers. It's not exactly the same as like the old cartoons it's inspired by, but that would have been prohibitively expensive. So they just <laughs> emulated what they needed to as well, and it, it's it's really nice. I like it. Don't miss cool. the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase with a look at the future of Xbox oh, and Game Pass. Oh, I'm news for oh, I'm going to wait till I have to care. About Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend to heaven. That's the parkour one, isn't it? Neon White. Oh, oh this game again. Yeah. Looks like... We're called Neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. But 
I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. This does look like a pretty cool game. It doesn't really look like a game I would be super interested in, but it does look like a cool game. I'm fairly sure the speedrunners will be all over it. It looks like the sort of game oh, that's made for Absolutely. Me. Yeah. You think you can win me over by showering me with gifts? Uh, Look, I will. Oh my. Oh, Hoochie Mama. Oh, the card systems use an interesting twist. Oh, Machine Girl! I know them! That's the band that has the American Werewolf album cover that sounds an awful lot like a, a waifu fied version of Death Grips. They're pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh wait, no, Avi's talking about Neon White. Never mind, that's where I've heard this game before. Yeah. Avi's been. Avi seems to. Over the past year, he's been excited for that. To bring his vision for a fast-paced action game, Midnight Fight Express, to life. Let's take a look. Damn, that sure is a spear. You know the saying, get knocked down, get up again, that whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. Yo, at least this dude's got his Google drone to watch out for him. What would he do without it? Oh, I, I like that. I have to this. ask, what is... I do have to ask, when did, like... Top down games become like the because newest like trend. Well, I, I think it's been a while, I, I think. Like... As far back as I'm, I mean, oh, yeah. the very, probably further back than I made a game with zombies in it, if I recall correctly. Maybe even further back than that. Holy shit, you change his clothes. Like, top down games, like, I know top down games have been more or less kind of like they've had their audience as far back as like. Hotline Miami, at least like they they've had like a small audience, but I've noticed like an increase in top-down games recently. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Such a cool game! I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam, and will be part. Oh of hell yeah! Confirmed. Yes, yes, I can see the demo as well. It's right up on Steam right now. Home, and that's one of them. Check it out. All right. Give me that uh, demo, baby. Warframe. Digital extremes to talk all things Warframe. New Warframe. Megan, how you doing? I'm so good. All right, time to stop caring. Uh, we got a lot. I mean, I'm going to start down on that demo. Right? Okay. We do. Well, we have a great connection. We've also done a lot with Warframe over My the big years. Brother's a really right big now, Warframe player, so he's probably... Yeah, Warframe. Warframe's all right. It's, it's like third-person right. Destiny 2 okay. without all the filler and the, and with better melee combat. It's, it's all right. Oh, damn. You know, good for him. Take over oh. your special events category, but she is there and she is for you if you are properly linked up. No, Warframe, you know, as I said, we've done a lot over the years. You guys have done incredible things with the game. And I know you have TennoCon coming up in July, which is your big kind of event of the year to reveal what's. God, can I just say briefly? I love how Midnight well, Flight Express, it. like when I was creating people, it was like from the stuntman behind God of War 2018. Oh, it must have been for all the mocap stuff, I'd imagine. Because that, that does seem like the sort of thing that would rely heavily on mocap for all the dodging and melee combat and stuff like that. It looks really cool. To, you know, kind of debut. We have our Tenno Live during TennoCon, which is our big reveal of the night. And we usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo. And I think a lot of people can suspect what it might be, but I'm here to kind of confirm what it is that Tenno Live is going to be. What is it? Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're gonna get your first look at the Daviri Paradox. It's finally! Finally, I know, I know it's- Damn been it! Years, uh, but Daviri Paradox is gonna be what Ten Alive is all about, and I'm so happy. Uh, the team worked really hard on the teaser you're about to yeah. see for it, and I'm just really proud and excited to show it. Awesome, well thanks so much for being here on Summer Game Fest. Let's take a look at that right now. My child, my friend, what was done is done. New dangers. New choices await us now. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. Mm, it tastes just like raisins. Ah, uh, yes, I see we are now watching Cyberpunk Keanu Reeves. 
have a stroke of its mane, it turns into a plane, and it turns back again when you <laughs> tug on its winky. For now, <laughs> dream of who we were. Dream? And of who we have Like become. the SMP? Titania? I mean, I don't, I don't know much about Warframe. Oh, thank really God I'm not the only super... one. No, I know my big brother plays it a lot, but that's... Next, it's time for a new look oh, at... Sh oh, Star shit! It's my time to give a shit! Yeah, a lot of space today <laughs> from Genshin Impact Studio, Hoyaverse, across mobile and PC. This studio continues to deliver... And this new trailer reveals, for the very first time, a new and exotic realm players will be able to explore. I just want to let the folks know this stream is sponsored by my hand giving a massive Genshin impact on your behind. Ah, hell yeah, I can really use one of those. God. Listen. You are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here. I really don't. That matters. In the near future, you will encounter many perils. Like, say, as an example, no husbandos. <laughs> At the very least, tell me that Keith Silverstein's in this one as well. Dude, he's so cool. I want to be my dad. He's... He, I just want to meet him and then get him to say something like, I don't know, fly my little Akuma and drop the Axis asteroid on the cloud <laughs> or something. <laughs> I can't so cool. I can't watch Gundam Unicorn without thinking, with any scene with full frontal in it, without thinking, do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. <laughs> Dr. Rand Knuckles? Yeah, this is basically Genshin in space. I have yeah. the souls Holy shit, is that Kazuha's dad?! Welcome aboard the Sienjo Lapu. Well, this, I have all I could possibly ask for from this game now, thank you. And that's not all from Hoyoverse. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Zenless Zone Zero, their next major new IP. It's a futuristic urban action game. I have to say, I'm blown away. Uh, I've heard of this one. A couple weeks ago, and it has the detail of Genshin Impact. I'm fast paced action. I'm very curious about this, actually. Is, is, brand new look. is this Zenless going to be another game, uh, another gotcha game? Because if it is, I have to have to clock out again. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> knowing I that, I wouldn't be surprised. Knowing me, how his business model is, probably is. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I'm shocked they have more than three different body types. <laughs> Damn, I agree with that. <laughs> Oh my god, they just have the like the ninja one from Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> well, this is Holy anything sh like Genshin, it's just gonna be one of those games that I'm gonna have to passively enjoy through the fan art on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably the optimal way to be honest. Hmm. <laughs> If it's not a gotcha game, I would be more inclined to, to play it. Is those character de the what we did see of the character designs? It looks really one of good. my favorite reveals last year. Holy was shit, Leonardo da Vinci! <laughs> all of the turtles are Teenage Mutant Ninja well, Turtles Shredder's Revenge. And the team wanted to use I'm sorry, the are, are these supposed to be the some kind of knockoff of the biker mice from Mars? Keeping under wraps. <laughs> 
Until now. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard of them. Next, you'll tell me you'll never, you've never heard of street sharks. Fucking now. No, not not street. No, 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 not the the the, the biker biker m mice from Mars. No, 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 no. I've heard of those. I've never heard of this. <laughs> Casey this, Jones. This, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what, what's with these turtles, man. I don't even see any turtles. What the hell? Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Imagine knowing the deal with yeah. these wacky little turtles. Yeah, I don't know, man. Never heard I of mean, them. look. Me I, neither, do, I do not see anything of Donatello doing machines. I demand, <laughs> I demand a cinematic of Donatello sticking his little turtle inside a machine. You know, I'm pretty sure Sanji's cooking and Chopper's doctoring. <laughs> yayo, 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 yayo. Yeah, I like that you can play as yeah, April. But... That's a nice touch. Yeah. yeah. All, yeah, all joking aside, this does look really cool. Like, it's a very, like, oh, wow. very yeah. retro kind of feel to it. It's in the spirit of the old Konami arcade games. Yeah. Like, in the in the age of Streets of, of the new, of the newer Streets of Rage and stuff like that, this is a very welcome announcement. He always using machines! Yeah, there he is. is He's he doing machines. Is he is he or is he just fingering it lightly? <laughs> oh my god, it's over one two and a half. Is it? I don't know. Can I ch I was about to say, can I clock out? <laughs> <laughs> And I, I joke a lot about about clocking out on a lot of these announcements. But these, some of these do genuinely look good. They just don't look for me. <laughs> I got that. Not helped by the fact that I'm not super into like shooters. Yeah. Generally. Really yeah, I like Left 4 Dead. Shooter. I like Left 4 Dead. I like Portal. I like Bioshock, but. I'm not like super big into this genre. Oh uh, yes, the yo Sega! Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. It was humankind. Sorry, jump. Oh, this g this game. All right. Is my is my homie kind of game? Kind of. It's a lot. It's a lot more culturally oriented than um than Civilization. It's it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm just waiting for my man Gandhi. Ah, uh, words <laughs> are backed by nuclear weapons, indeed. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh wait! There's more! There's more! What did they do to hold the Mountain King? I love this! <laughs> Consequences chasing me right now. Here come the consequence, consequence, consequence. Look, here come the consequences chasing me right now. <laughs> How far will you push, humankind? Yeah, no, oh. I'm gonna lie. I've, I've been meaning to try this one that game out just to see all the subtle differences between it and Civ. Finally, a game that lets me legally commit war crimes for the ninth time this month. More so than Civ. Humankind allows you to shape your civilization by combining a multitude. That's same. In fairness, Civ was kind of built on that, even though era. war in yeah. that game is actual <laughs> is actually hell. Twenty fifth anniversary this year, and Bandai Namco. Damn, holy moly, we got the we got the motherfucking. Uh, with one piece on is this is this Demon Salia? Dude, I'm gonna I'm looking really forward to Naruto Sun Adventures. It's the Prats of the Caribbean. <laughs> the Straw Hat Pirates journeying along the Grand Line. 
Damn, those do, those do be a bunch of huge towers, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, for some reason, Nami saying that just made me giggle. <laughs> no, what? They call it the knock-up stream? Really? Yeah. You're just I... asking me to make sex jokes. <laughs> I mean, have you seen this show? It's... I'd like to. say it is One Piece. <laughs> yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't watched enough One Piece. I really need to watch more. Oh, I went to a college lecture telling me about the One Piece war, and I love Brooke. Speaking of, look at Brooke! Hey! I... These characters, like... These the Mask of Zoro! This is this is definitely a better translation of the art style than it fucking wasn't Jump Force. Yeah, very true. To be fair, Jump Force wasn't is... really setting the bar that high. Yeah, that's very also I very true. Is... I think I think Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy himself, is the only one I'd, I'd say probably needs some work. Yeah, yeah, I can see but that. But like all of the others, all of the others, these definitely translated a lot better than they did in yeah. Jump Force. Alright, now what kind of game is this? Because I might actually be interested. It does look pretty cool. It also makes me want to re to reinstall the uh, One Piece Dynasty Warriors game that I have. Because that oh, was also sick. pretty cool. One Piece Odyssey. Let's do the Odyssey. <laughs> Someone on the Stratifice gets the Possessed Possessed Fruit. Yo, it's yo, it's Ilka. Those were the guys behind fucking Pokemon. We're in good hands now. We've got yeah, okay. First listen to the English voice cast with this quick new look. Duran Knuckles, I'm I'm asking myself that question right now. It's gonna show up. I believe it. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Oh, wait, was that just fucking Grimjow in a fucking fur coat? <laughs> it's another MiHoYo game, isn't it? I swear to God, if it is. Come on, there's no way this is a MiHoYo game. There's too many dudes. Oh, it's Soul Hackers. Uh, oh, oh, is this like the was this the SMT like game? Yeah, it's, it's it, I think it's literally within the SMT series. Okay. I played. I think I played. Yeah, I think I played the first one for a bit. It was all right. I like the setting. Persona's still Persona's still better, but you know, for those into dun first person dungeon crawls with a cyberpunk twist to it, it's pretty good. I'll consider it. Oh damn, look at all these games on Epic Games that I won't buy. <laughs> You're talking with the person who literally yesterday got hold of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands on the Epic Store, because I just have no investment in that backlash. That's fair. Yeah. My, that game looks pretty good. It is biggest, pretty good. My biggest hang-up with Epic right now isn't even like... Isn't even like the controversy surrounding it, because honestly, I don't care either. I... I just don't... One, I don't like being sold exclusively on exclusives. Hmm. That's they don't, very true. They don't really give me a reason to want to get into their their store other than the <laughs> fact that they that they <laughs> She she says over the toilet for the Samsung game hub. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I would say it here too. Like I'm not Oh god I'm not the fun. timing. I'm not fond of being sold on on just you know oh you get to play this like a year early from from everyone else who who has it on Steam. I'm also yeah. not a big fan. I'm also not a big fan of how they do their free games. It's like mm. it, when it's a AAA title, I guess I'm a little bit more lenient on it to uh, in comparison to when it's something like Super Liminal. Yeah. Because those are indie devs. They're not getting nearly as much money off of off of. Uh, fucking Epic just giving away their game for free than if people yeah. were to actually buy it. Yeah, very true. 
So that's that's why I'm a little bit more against getting an Epic Games account. Yeah, makes fair, sense. I get that. But you know what else is fair and makes sense? Nintendo Switch! Oh, it's Mario Rabbit's time. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, wait, no, no, it's oh, no, no. Mario Strikers. Yeah. I jumped the gun. They have to specify that it's football once again <laughs> in the title of the English of the UK version. God, the last one gave me such NARM flashbacks. Look, it was, it was, is, it was this, cool, but it was ridiculously hard. Yeah, this, this, this Strikers game is very low tier. It doesn't have Daisy. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. That's you had true. one job, and you couldn't even do that, right? Nah, dude, it's fine. They'll wait three. They'll wait three months to get the release money so that they can use the money to put Daisy in the game later, even though they should have been right from the start. Should have. We didn't need Rosalina. Come on. Legendary artists like Serge Tankian from System of a Down. So wait, really? Serge, motherfucking Tankian? Our demo is live now on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation platforms, so go what check is it out this for? to the beat. Oh! Oh, I am erect right now! Well, damn, I'm glad one of us is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I am stunned. <laughs> you know, I was about to call this game Doom Boy. Alyssa White Glues! Honestly, I don't think Alyssa it's a bad thing. Alyssa White Glues from Arch Enemy. I like her. She's cool. Let's go. Matt Heafy! Yay! Randy Blythe! No way! And the lead singer from Ginger as well. So many musicians I absolutely love in love. There he is! There's such a <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so it's Chucky, but System of a Down. Yeah. Finally, we have it, Musha Core. This is very Musha Core. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fairness, if this... I was more into shooters, this would absolutely be something up my alley too. This is like That's a successor. To, this is like painkiller, a painkiller follow-up if they actually gave a shit. Holy fuck! I am. Metal I just. Came, I just. I just came. Fair. Yes, please. In my face right now. Brooks is like, I'm so mad that as soon as I leave, we get all the games with art styles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it do be like that, huh? But we truly do live in a gaming society. And right now, as I mentioned, a demo has launched on. But yeah, if I was if I was more into shooters, I'd be absolutely down with this. But next up, I don't know. It's harder to get me into shooters than it is most people. I am down like your mum. Nah, I feel you on that, Doodle. Cast, it's getting great reviews, and this is one of those. Binge-worthy teen horror entertainment experiences. Uh, Musha, someone in my chat's wondering if you know that Matt, uh, Matt Heffy just got a new Les Paul release? I did not know that. I need to watch more of Matt Heffy's live streams, because he seems fun. He seems like a really fun guy. Then again, I need to also need to listen to some more Trivium. Although I also hear that, like, that Rashomon project that he did recently was also really good in a sort of blackened sort of way. I'd like to listen to more of him. He seems cool. Hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. Prison just pull that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. You're not What's Andy Dufresne. What? Me too, actually. What? What? Kidnapping. Murder. Cover-ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. All right, we've got such a cool premise going. Watch it be a first-person shooter. Right, let's do this. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be more of like a Dead by Daylight. Oh no, I can see it. I guess now that I'm thinking yeah. about it. Goodbye, cool world. I mean, we haven't seen any. We haven't seen any gameplay yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if this was more of like a Dead by Daylight kind of deal. I want to say it's more um, uh, Until Dawn, I, at least I'm hoping it is. Until, until Dawn, but, yeah. Until but more, Dawn is more trash, it's really but more intentionally trashy. I, I, I want it to be that. The quality. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Someone get James A. Janice oh, yeah. to play that. Someone get oh, James yeah. A. Janice on that right now. 
like, like that was absolutely an homage to like old horror movies. Oh, there's Nightingale. Oh, see it's more from. About this? It's from. It's from Supermassive, the same developer as Until Dawn, so that makes yeah. sense. That would make a lot more sense. Yeah. 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 Well, we Fair. Nightingale. Fair. Night. yeah. So Nightingale was something I remember hearing about last year. So I'm. I'm. I was interested uh, then. I'm in kind of wondering what's going to happen or what, what this is now. You're alone in the realms, I'm afraid. The portals are a mess. Holy shit, was that the biblically accurate gatekeeper? Sure if Nightingale made it. Given how fragile you humans are, <laughs> I'd say that staying fed, dry, and rested should be your priority. If the portal arch is inactive, you'll need to make realm cards from rare resources. Once you have realm cards, you can activate the portal. Beware the Yeah, like in Minecraft. Foul things lurk in the interrealmic void. Waiting to get in. Damn hippies! <laughs> ready with your axe pick. Work that axe pick. Oh, yeah, I'm very interested in this now. It looks, uh, it's kind of, well, I mean, it's a shooter, unfortunate, but, I don't know, Damn. I'd be willing to play this. I'm, I'm willing to put aside my bias to play this. It looks like a very sort of meditatively chill-out kind of survival affair. Mm -hmm. I'd go for it. I like the, I like the fantasy touch to it. Basically, what I'm saying is, is out of all of the shooters, this one has me the Yo, most you can have zeppelins! Nice! Think about this. Yeah, this Yo, is... I love Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, out of all of the that shooters looks... that we... Out of all the shooting, uh, shooters that we've seen, the steampunk one is the one that gets me interested. Yeah, Maybe that I'm does look really cool. Maybe I'm just predictable. <laughs> yeah, so it checks I'm... out. I don't normally go for the survival crafting Saints game, but that does, look, that does look cool. Saints Row! That we revealed last Saints Row! Today, it's time, baby. The launch of the Boss Factory demo across PC and console, which lets you. It's such a shame it's gonna be on Epic for a year. Saints Row, you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Check. Me too. Oh, I just, I really want to play this. Guys, you gotta do something to capture people's attention. So, what do we build next? Yeah, you Damn. Just get the. See, all these people who are complaining about, like, oh, where's the gangster stuff? Where's the gangster Saints Row? You can fucking do this shit! Fuck you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Like they're complaining about the they're complaining about how it's toned down since the last ga few games, based on what, and also that wasn't the reason the old ones were good. Ah, uh, I feel vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing like the the what was it? Immediately they make like the fucking gangster kind of character. Everyone's just yeah. like, oh, it's all hipster trash. No, you can make your gangsters again. You can make your Saints Row 1 protagonist again. You can have that. And what, the previous games didn't have it, it, it hit hipster culture? Fuck uh, right off. Yeah, I Gr mean... Gr Grifters don't never... deserve rights, is what I'm trying to say. No, I agree. All I'm saying, look, all I'm saying is Johnny Gat had frosted tips. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, the... Oh, I'm so hyped. Yeah, it looks alright. Look, at least, only... or at the very least, we can we can at least agree it looks better than Agents of Mayhem. I mean, yeah. Ah, uh, fuck off! Get put it on Steam, you fucking cowards! Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, angry. Next, we've got an exclusive first look at extended gameplay. Fortik, Dark Tide, Fat Sharks. Now this, I've, I've looked at bits of Dark Tide, and it does seem pretty interesting. 
And for the record, I have not too much experience with 40k. I've painted a few of the figures. I've played Dawn of War. I think I have Space Marine. Um, and I think I've also considered getting Deathwing. But this, I've heard, looks, is, looks quite interesting. Contracts. Epic isn't really that epic, if you ask me. Okay, the melee combat seems pretty solid. If they if they do it as well as Vermintide does it, then I'm gonna be up for this. And Vermintide did it amazingly, so quite a high bar to clear. Fight for our honor as Blood Ravens, as Space Marines! But what I want to know is can you make multiple devastating defensive deep strikes? <laughs> That's the real question we all want to know. And do their enemies hide in metal boxes, the cowards? Yeah, it looks all right. I, I I'd happily play that if someone wanted me to wanted me to have a go with them. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty solid. It looks forty k ish. It looks visceral. It looks grim dark. Yeah. I don't mind my anger here at noises. I'm just scrolling Twitter. It's a return to the world of layers of fears. Oh boo! Of this. Yo, excuse me, I'm gonna clock out and have a wank. <laughs> you do that. Wait, what was this? It's fucking Bloober Team. What a... Like, like the Mario the enemy? The only game from Bloober Team I'm remotely interested in is uh, the Cyberpunk one they did, and only because of Rutger Hauer and the interesting framing devices that they have. And everything else they do is like just generic horror stuff and. Also, there was a recent Jimquisition episode on how problematic the medium was. And it was, it was made in the wake of rumors of them doing some kind of Silent Hill thing. And they really shouldn't be. Huh. Let me guess, there's gonna be a thing where you go through a door, then you turn around and go back through the door and it leads to a different place. I wonder if they're gonna do that. Is that like a fucking bingo card or something? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, multiple people I've uh, I've listened to about Liberty Team have said that they keep doing that trope. Also, Walk, you're not wrong. Someone in my chat is like, I feel like Susie's having an angry tweet calling out people Saints, about Saints Row stuff in the background. I am. <laughs> <laughs> fully, fully much. I've, I've already put out the tweet. <laughs> no, Twitter, bring me back my animation tweet! Get a job! Okay, cool, you did the aliens thing with the title, whatever. <laughs> My grandma could do that. Oh, no, if, perhaps, perhaps maybe even better than that, they did the Silent Hills October, thing with the title. Oh, hey, it's Gotham S. Oh, yeah, right, this game exists. I kind of forgot. Huh.
To give us an exclusive new look, let's head to Montreal to hear from executive producer Fleur Marty. Oh, finally, Montreal. Hello, it's only like the third the country of the world. world. I'm Fleur Marty. I'm the executive producer on Gotham Knights. Today, we are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved knights, Nightwing. This showcase is the first in our character series, and we're really looking forward to share more with you as we continue working towards our launch on October 25th. So I hope you enjoy the show and stay tuned. Gotham ass. Gotham ass. Oh damn, he do be grooving though. I had nothing. It's Night Wang! Nothing became my home. It's people became my family. Gotham gave me everything. Okay, it's cool and all, but when are we getting my favorite villain? Big fucking pencil. Ah uh, yes. The person who can single-handedly beat the Green Lantern. <laughs> He wouldn't stand will, a chance. I will never get over the fact that Green Lantern can be uh, Green Lantern can be beaten by a pencil. I mean, his original weakness was the color yellow. So yeah, he, yeah. like all, the the weaknesses that Green Lantern has had has been yellow, wood, <laughs> and granite. Yeah, he can be beaten That's... by a pencil. <laughs> it's hilarious. Also, bless you, Sarah. Oh, I appreciate it. Got this, Bruce. <laughs> if, if, wait a minute, if this is the version of Nightwing I'm thinking, does that mean that so many more characters will just say the word dick more often? Because if so, <laughs> then I then I want to get the game just for that. You know what? True. Yeah, this is Gotham Knights, and now we welcome. Oh, look who it is, Neil Druckmann oh. from Naughty Dog, uh, co-president of Naughty Dog. Uh, great to have you with us, Neil. It's been a uh, okay, Naughty Dog the internet for Naughty Dog fans, and uh, what are gonna you be guys last doing? About last night, like, it's gonna be Last of Us, isn't it? Come on, Mr. Man. Because if, if it is, I'm gonna head out and last debate for a bit. About, uh, Come on, Mr. Man. <laughs> you know what you wanna <laughs> announce? You know, Ratchet and Clank, because, uh, PS2 uh, games come in the Steam. You know? Oh God damn it! Uh, part two, which is is hard to hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, it uh, um, you know, nine years for last. I'm time. having a wank. I'm having a wank. All right, I think this is a good enough time for my piss break. You guys, uh, be funny, I guess. I don't know. Um, and it's it's just been. Um, I mean, I suppose I could. Uh, I'm trying to think of something besides having a wank. Um, <laughs> I just um, I can't believe. I can't believe we're getting the, the, the first instance of a video game that is just made in the same vein as Oscar bait. So, uh, what can mm. Last of Us fans expect in the future from you? Thank you just that. fucking Last of Us, it's, just, it's so guaranteed a fucking award, so therefore, that's... that's... Multiplayer mode has evolved due to the team's ambition to something beyond what we've ever done before at Naughty Dog. Step one, cut a hole in the box. Step two, put your junk in that box. Step three, let her open the box. And that's the way that you do it. It's my dick in a box. It's my dick in a box. Uh, but what, uh, what I can <laughs> tell you, are like, they oh, still oh, blabbing on? This game is big. They're gonna be uh, blabbing on for a bit. Single player game okay. Ways bigger. <clears throat> right. It's got a story. Um, the way we're telling that story is very unique. Uh, 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 it's got a brand new cast. Uh, 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 u
live game. Uh, it's it's something special. I don't I give a shit. Okay, well, um, that's not. I don't give a shit. I've been reading about it on the internet every day. It's Show some really gameplay. Twats probably is something more interesting than Last right? of Us. Yeah, so and I don't mean cinematics. I mean actual live gameplay. I don't get. Deserve those awards? It doesn't deserve this amount of attention. No, no, it doesn't. It's such a. It's pretty. It's such a fucking. It's such a. It's no. It's a word thing. That's all it is. So good. You know what? How about instead of talking about The Last of Us, we can talk about the fact they put God of War 2018 on Steam, yet they have all these good PS2 games that people would absolutely buy on Steam and just aren't putting them on there. And they're actually their last day of filming. Tomorrow. Look, all we can, We're all we can. We, well, here's here's something we can agree with, uh, agree with 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 each other on, Sarah. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. What? Why are they giving us the Last you of Us uh, news when they could the be giving us Bakugan yes, Battle uh, Brawlers news? Yeah! Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I want to see people. I want to see people, see people, playing, with see people um, playing with their balls. Um, Hell yeah, dude! Let's go! I love playing with my balls. <laughs> So wow. you can see, uh, this is a certain... For fuck's sake, are they still talking about The Last of Us? Um, and I really have to talk I literally... about... Is this a show? And not only directing them, but seeing them... I am so bored! Are they making a Last of Us show now? Oh, is that fuck what they're that talking about? I'm tired. I haven't been paying attention. Off camera, I couldn't help but think about... Why could they we have just left? So similar to the camera. Why could we have just left The Last of Us at one video game? It was better that way. It really feels like this is going to be something special, and I, I will say this will be the it won't be. video game adaptation yet. Well, I mean that first image that they put out. It just, I mean, it feels like the video game. Everything that I've seen, both public and other stuff, makes it feel sort of super legitimate. You said, and that's awesome to see uh, Joel and Ellie from from the front side now for the first time. <laughs> Um, so we'll see more of that at next year. That's coming as well, right? Uh, we'll hear about it very soon. That's okay. Right My right. dear, I'm tired, tired uh, of playing yeah, solitaire. I'm tired of being uh, Joker in the pack. I'm sick of being uh, wistful. Uh, My nerves like about to snap. A trailer, at least. No, no, never mind. Unless you oh, think, unless you take right. my hand, okay, I hello. think I'll crack. I'm a little confused. Oh, hey, though. he's I back. Why is he back Pedro on the Bella, field? but Troy oh, Asher out here uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, almost one of our very first meetings, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're such fans of, like, the talent. So someone in the chat said, uh, hey, Sarah, so someone in the um, chat saying, like uh, Dragonoid is a bad dragon. It, it has to be more than just, like, kind of like a wink to the camera and, like, a cameo. Okay. These are real roles. Oh, we're keeping on the Get the fuck now. off screen with The Last uh, of Us, yeah. But man, I, was, I'm I, I got out of bed and started my PC up for so this shit. Like, so good. <laughs> on the internet, there's so much, like, talk about what's being filmed. At the very least, really, it kept a complete secret. At, you, you at least there were, were at least there were other, like, well, keeping like, secrets with this franchise is kind of there were other like, things. Like, except for today. Today. I mean, maybe. My metal was that. It was, it was one of the I enjoyed that, but that's about it. Not let people know that because we're so proud of it and the work that we did. We worked hard. The, the crew, I have to say, oh dear lord, I, know, I do, do not give a fuck. Oh, fucking core is the first thing I come back to is Troy Baker. Such also, I see they're talking about the most unnecessary game remake of all time. Probably. This project now you know our pain. And their love for the, for the yeah. game uh, was one of the greatest. It was like, I don't know, man. Home. Last of Us. The yeah, the first I, one the I could have let pass. Like it didn't seem like amazing. anything I was super Bella interested in, but I could have let it. Look, I could have let it pass, right? I, yeah. But like they're so they have perfect. And it, it, after, like this, this, the the then they then they remade it. Sort of like what a year seeing, after the original. It's it's like um. It's then like they the they did the Last of Us two, and then it got and you know I I could have let Last of Us two pass despite it. So excited negative reception and, and then the just, fucking game awards I happen I think it is gonna be and now i'm just tired of last of us it's it's <laughs> i love the story what? i love just no, I, being I'm, a part of I'm so excited. I, I will say it again so you should have stopped with the first game i'm so fascinated <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. bob and we even and you know are these characters we know from the game that they're Why playing? Why can't we just characters? have a ba Bakugan <laughs> Battle Brawlers video yes. game remake? Fair enough. That's what I'm talking about! So sneaky. All Not right. remade, well, remastered, so it was a poor point is. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, all 
All right. Well, we need yeah, to sing a song in here. Was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of I people, have a uh, decal yeah, of my face uh, on my yacht, like but tonight a lump of coal is right. all my heart's got. Yeah, just, I got a line of credit. It's an unlimited uh, line, but I'm still waiting for somebody that I can call mine. And I repent like a sinner, covered in flies. And I declare myself the winner as I drown in my old lies. All my friends, they all know my name. Name, as they watch me crumble under all the pressures of fame before i drive up to the white hot it's spot still, that i just need one thing oh i want to have sex <laughs> with somebody <laughs> anybody who have sex with me well, i want to have a good also, time hey. on you and i uh, know hey. that it don't come for free sex with somebody hey also, I would have been more careful with with the song choice because yeah. I know Twitch wanted to cut um, wanted to, to cut down on on that kind of the outside. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Everything you hope for. But can't be any I've just there. I've just switched to scrolling on Twitter now, and I'm already being rewarded so much more than paying attention to this trailer. Yeah. I. I I popped out. I briefly popped out a few hours ago, like an hour ago, just to take a massive shit because my stomach was cramping up really badly. Why couldn't have I have done it now of all times? I'm so I'm I'm going delirious. It's just I'm so tired of it. Like I don't, I don't even I I, guess I wouldn't even say I necessarily hate this game. I'm just tired of Last of Us. Like, I've had some practice. I don't. They're re releasing The Last of Us Part 1 again? Yep. 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 Yeah, it's, they're it's remastering just, it, baby. I'm tired uh -huh. of it. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. the same way. It's like I feel the yeah. same way to The Last of Us that I do with Skyrim. It's like I don't hate it. I don't really have much of an opinion one way or another. I'm just tired. Yeah, just <laughs> make literally anything else. I'll even take uh, Gex 4. Oh, uh, speaking of Gex 4, hello, TP. Like, uh, hello. Uh, and my Gex 4 now? I mean, if you want. Has changed, mm. and you went and you redid the models and rebuilt everything? Okay. Everything was re uh, rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, same art this version is the remake? The whole thing from the ground up. I didn't even feel like that long ago that The Last of Us Part 1, like, was um, they're closer to the original ported. Points. All the animators but, but dude, all the game looks so way more detailed, realistic, hyper realistic realism. Look it at it realistic. I feel like it was that long ago. Like all the combat is like is, is redone. Hey, I have a question. Just uh, mm -hmm. the fidelity of everything. Did I miss anything? Again, we Actually, were, yes, I would say you did. A good. A few things, but I mean, it's nothing life changing, I would say. Except for maybe like one game, but only because it looked like it was made for me. Okay. Uh, I, I, have a, I have a second question. I, I actually yeah. was it anything like Goromon? Uh, do you yeah. think I would like it? Like I would like Goromon. I was a uh, Goromon, you would you would definitely like, but as far as other yeah. things that were shown, um. Uh, Not yet. A lot of it has been a lot then, of shooters and a lot of a lot of shooters, a lot of uh, cinematics and stuff. Kinda... Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all of it was, mind you. There were definitely a lot of. There was like a few, really like a like a batch of really interesting indie games, but uh, there was like a there was like a Genshin kind of there was like a Genshin game that they talked about. What was it? Zen yeah. Zone Zero. Zen Zone Zero, Honkai Star Rail, those two. Yeah. So so, maybe those. so literally, you, you, uh, so literally the only thing, so the only thing that I would care for so far is something uh, related to Genshin. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I believe it. Released September second on PS5. Right, well, I'm saying oh, there have been a lot of really good movie trailers and this video game trailer presentation. Still making games. Uh, uh, I haven't given up my. my all right. Well, Sarah, Sarah and I, are, uh, Sarah, and, uh, Sarah and I have an agreement that right now they're talking since they're talking about uh, Last of Us Part One again. We're just kind of like we, we just kind of wish that they would replace this with Bakugan okay, Battle Brawlers. Very true. I'm 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 going so delirious. I'm bursting into song every now and then. Listen. 
thanks guys. Uh, even as someone who doesn't care for Baka Battle right, uh, well, Brothers. Gonna do it. Thanks to Naughty Dog Save and though? for that very special Hell yeah. uh, look at the Last of Us and the Okay, we got something else. Things are going, That's... Um, very finally, good. Last of Us is fucked so. up. Oh, finally, now we can talk about Bosby Bad Battle Brothers. Yo, we get to talk about the best video game franchise of all time. Oh, Devolver! Oh, you're happy oh, at Devolver. Yeah, Devolver's yeah. later. Oh, no, I, nice. I'm going to do- I'm going to do a Devolver stream. I'm probably going to, like, take a break. Because I'm not super into, like, the, 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 the- What is it? The Day of the Devs, or whatever? Hmm, um, but I'm definitely gonna come back for Devolver. I feel- I feel like- I feel like a lot of people are saying- I know a lot of people are saying, like, E3 die for this. No! E3 died because people ready and were incompetent. E3 got reincarnated into this. I wanted to set the record straight. E3 didn't die for this. E3 died, this took its place because they needed to find something. I'll never see you again. I will never see you again, Stab Dies Out. So yeah, true. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm probably going to take a break from streaming up until... Happy birthday to you. What the Happy f... Happy birthday to It's Shaifa? not my birthday. Happy Why is birthday, Shaifa day here? Of the day of the devs! What? You don't know what day of the devs is? Oh, is this about, is this about the, the Monkey Island? Is the greatest and definitely the oldest independent games festival that exists. It was started over 10 years ago by Double Fine Productions and I Am Fit to celebrate uh, the best independent games out there and bring them to you, the fans. We wanted to bring developers and players together to get together, play games, See, I was, and have a great time. I was going to end the stream, but I don't... Only in San Francisco, but now it is I don't, digital, I don't know. So we'll we'll, we'll see where this goes. It. And we're really excited this year to be part of uh, Summer Game Fest. Uh, so sit back, relax, put on your party hats. I will not. This thing? I'm supposed to put this on? That's right. Everybody, put it on your party hats. Everybody. What? Everybody. That's right. It's trying really hard to be quirky. Put on your party hat and enjoy Day of the Devs. So what is Day of the Devs? <laughs> Is this just where they, they we got a new talk one about today. the devs? This is from a good friend, Michael Frey and Rafael Munoz. Previously, Michael made a game called Kids with playables that we published at Double Fire. Holy Fire. shit, right here, it's life. It's about you know what? I was going to end the stream, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to I'm gonna say right. I'm going to say really quickly. Hello, uh, everyone. My name is Michael. Even as someone who can you might kind of sort of see there being like differences with The Last of Us remastered and The Last of Us Part 1. I still think it's, it's way too early uh, for one. We're gonna talk oh, it, 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 it very much is. In my upcoming they are project. absolutely trying to cash in on the nostalgia. The nostalgia of 2018. On the, game. the project we're collaborating Fuck, on is called Time Flies. Oh, okay. PS4 came out in 2016. Okay, oh, we're, they're we're actually, saying then. There, there are, like... Are these announcements? I think so. Like, they had the guy... The, they, I mean, this one's from the guy who did Plug and Play. Well, yeah, I know that. This is about our limited time in this world. In Switzerland, where I'm right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well... <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's happening, and I'm... Uh, okay. Well, I guess we are going to wind up ending the stream in it until, uh, Devolver. That, uh, I don't, is a plan. I don't, I don't know what, because this is going to be the, the post show. So, I guess we'll be back in... a little more than two hours? Hmm. <laughs> So it's roughly two I mean, now. I mean, I mean we could see be... the call. And we could. Like, but... but that's two hours for me to play the Fire Emblem demo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... You it, could, it's you it's, it's roughly... It'll be roughly two hours because it's 2 p.m. here where I'm at. Uh, and it starts at 3 PST, so that'll be, yeah, two hours from now. So I guess we'll be back uh... in two hours.